Well, welcome back to CG Bros. This is part two in our tutorial on paint effects and creating a vine growth animation. So if you remember last time, we had created some nerves curves and we placed them along our Venus de Milo mesh using the Make Live tool here. We then created a uh, paint effect stroke uh, using the IV Mel, and then we attached that paint effect stroke to the first curve that we had uh, modeled onto our mesh here. And then we, uh, we anim actually animated the maximum clip value uh, on our uh, stroke here, and we got something like this. Okay, so this is where we're going to start off today. Okay, so the first thing we we'll want to do here is uh, adjust the way these leaves are growing along the curve. They're kind of popping on right now, and that's not very natural. So we can adjust that using the pressure curves. So under pressure maps, pressure mappings here, um, we'll go ahead and uh, set our first pressure map to scale, because we want it to actually scale up as it grows along the curve. And let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, pressure ramp here and uh, add another position key. We want to grow from large to small, and you can actually see how that's affecting our uh, vine curve here as I move this up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and make it quite small here to begin with, but I'm going to actually give it some extra position points here to kind of give it a nice little transition uh, up to scale. So if we take another look at this, it grows on much more naturally as it flows along the curve. That's pretty nice. And uh, what we can also do here to make this a little bit more realistic is actually have the number of leaves uh, be uh, controlled by that same pressure curve that we've just uh, set here on our ramp. And that's uh, we'll go to pressure setting number two. We'll go ahead and set that to um, number of leaves. Number of leaves, there we go. So as it grows along the curve, it actually spawns more leaves as it goes, and it's kind of sparsely uh, created as it moves along the front end of this curve, so you can kind of see how it's sparse to begin with and kind of grows in a little more fully as it transgresses along the curve. Okay, so what I've noticed here now, since we've actually done that, if you look at the leading edge of this curve, you'll see that the stems are not actually, actually growing from anything. There's there's no actual vine uh, that they're uh, using to, to grow from. And if we take a render of this, you'll actually see that they're just growing out of thin air, and that's uh, not acceptable. So we're going to go ahead and fix that now. Okay, to do that, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is um, we're going to duplicate the current paint effect stroke that we have on this curve. So with the stroke selected, let's go up to uh, Edit, Duplicate, and let's duplicate special. We'll go ahead and make sure that duplicate input, input graph here is selected and duplicate that. So basically, what that's done is overlaid a one stroke over the other, and there's really no difference here. So let's go ahead and modify the second uh, stroke that we've created here and come up to our tubes uh, setting on the IV4 or the IV stroke. Um, and there's actually a setting called tubes that we want to turn off. There it is, tubes. If we turn that off, you'll see that actually what we get here hide this stroke, is a nice stem that grows along our curve. We'll go ahead and adjust the scale of that so we can see it a little bit better. There we go, it's a little large, but we can get, get the idea here. Now you might notice that there's actual little gaps in here, and you can see it's almost as if they're twisted about. So, and that's ex exactly what they've done here. So along the length of this, you'll find little twists, and that's not very realistic. Um, as it actually pinches closed at certain positions. So what we need to do here is turn off our twist. And so under twist here, if we click the forward twist, that takes care of that. Okay, let's go ahead and reduce the scale of that back to, say, 0.5. And let's unhide our leaves. And now we actually have a basis for our leaf strokes. Uh, that's pretty nice. Let's take a look at that rendered. And you see where actually the stems actually have a place to grow from now. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and transfer these uh, settings and these uh, paint effects curves, uh, I'm sorry, paint effects strokes to our other curves that we've uh, created here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get our first uh, leaf stroke here. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, to paint effects, get settings from selected stroke. I'm going to go ahead and select all the curves that we had uh, created for her. I'm going to go ahead to paint effects, 
Curve Utilities, Attach Brush to Curve. Bam. Let's go ahead and animate the vines, uh, leaf vines, on the rest of our curves. So I'm going to go ahead and select the rest of our uh, vines, leaf vines anyway. Let's go into the channel box. Let's go down to Max Clip. Go to Frame 1. Let's go ahead and set a key here at uh, Max Clip. Set key, key selected. Set this value to um, 0. Okay. And then at frame 180, we'll go ahead and set that uh, clip to 1. Wonderful. Looks like I lost that on my first uh, stroke as well. That's interesting. So let me go ahead and key select it and just go ahead and uh, key it back to 0 at frame 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go ahead and set the attributes on the other strokes so that it uh, looks like this one where it actually has the graduated uh, scaling in the front here and the number of leaves being uh, generated based on its length along the curve. Let's go ahead and uh, select some of our other strokes here uh, and do the same thing. So let's go ahead to our stroke and set our additional control points. And they don't have to be exactly um, you know, perfect. That's kind of the nature of vegetation is to kind of uh, be randomized, so don't be you know, too too exact in your placement of these uh, position keys here uh, along the scale. Let's go ahead and uh, get those. That's good. Yeah, just something down and dirty. So what we need to do now is actually add the uh, vine cores to our curves. Basically what we have uh, is the leaves, so let's go ahead and hide those, and we're going to go ahead and add this uh, core vine to the rest of our curves here. So let's go ahead and select our paint effects stroke. Let's go to paint effects, get settings from selected stroke. Let's go ahead and select the rest of our paint effects curves. And as we did before, let's go up to the paint effects menu, go down to curve utilities and attach brush to curves. Now you can see we've got all of our uh, NURBS curves stroked with a paint effects. That's pretty nice. So the next thing we would like to do is um, go ahead and uh, go into our channel box. Let's go ahead and set the max clip on all these. So let's go ahead and select all our stems and go to our max clip and set a keyframe. Uh, set uh, key selected. Let's go to frame one and set those all to zero. So now if we back out and we take a look at this, we've got our vines that just grow out and up. That's sweet. That's pretty great. Just think of the possibilities that you could have uh, with this and some of the other paint effects brushes. The next thing we want to do here is adjust the leaf, uh, the stem cores. We're having a similar problem that we had with the leaves in that the diameter is the same at the leading edge of this vine as it's growing along the curve. So let's go ahead and adjust that now. So if we uh, select our stroke here, let me come up to our pressure scale. Let's go ahead and set, select those position keys uh, and make a nice rounded edge, similarly the way we did on the leaves. And you can actually see, as long as this first pressure map setting is set to scale, let's go ahead and set these other two to off. So we're not going to use those now. But you can see uh, this actually tapers down and makes a very nice leading edge on all of our strokes. So let's go ahead and do that to the rest of our strokes. Okay, so now I've done that to all the curves, and this is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and unhide the leaves. I'll do a, a quick uh, play blast of this and see what we have. Okay, play blast is done. This is what it looks like. That's looking pretty nice. That ends uh, part two of our tutorial. Uh, join me for part three when we actually retime these vines so that they actually uh, are invoked as the first vine grows up and they branch off. Uh, and we'll correct the timing on those and then go ahead and tweak a few of the parameters on the paint effects to give it the extra level of realism that we're going to be looking for here. See you in the next video.